What's up guys? It's Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We're back with another video, but this time we're at the beach. Yeah, so I was out trying to locate some machines here. No, I'm just kidding. I wish I was locating machines here at the beach. But, you know, I decided to take a day off. So I came down to the beach because we live in South Carolina and the beach is real close here on coastal South Carolina. So just had to come down for the day and relax and take in the fresh air and the sunshine. It's, it's time to do that sometimes. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta unwind. So that's what I'm doing today. But I wanted to talk to you guys because I want to show you some of the stuff we got this weekend. We had a great weekend um, buying out an operator and buying some equipment, some cool stuff. You're going to see in this video we've got a new claw machine that we're going to be working on. We've got a new cocktail arcade cabinet. Plus we've got other projects going on as well. Uh, we're going to do a custom arcade cabinet for somebody and all kinds of cool stuff. We also got a bunch of bulk capsule um, vending machines. Not quite sure what we're going to do with those. I know some of them have money in them, so we're going to be opening those up to see how much money is inside. We all love that kind of video, right? So guys, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Click the bell notification so you're always notified when our new videos go live. Anyway, um, stick around because we're going to show you all the cool stuff we got this week. So I hope everyone's having a great week and a great weekend and all that good stuff. Thanks, guys. Stick around. All right, guys, we are in the shop and we've got all kinds of things to talk about today. So, as you know, we bought out an operator, but we also bought out some other things, too, um, over the past couple weeks. So I want to kind of sh kind of showcase some of the some of the machines we picked up, talk about what's next, what we're going to do. Um, we got a storm going on outside, so hopefully uh, you don't hear that, that lightning and thunder too bad. And so let's kick it off. We'll just kind of show you around. We're going to kick it off by starting off what we purchased at the last arcade pinball vending coin op auction. And let's come over here because you're probably already hearing it because it's on a track mode right now. There it is, guys. It is the mini stacker. We picked up the mini stacker at the arcade auction right there. And, uh, you know, in the auction video, one of the comments, somebody asked why the mini stacker went for so much um, compared to the regular full size stackers. And quite honestly, it's because I was bidding on it and everybody else apparently wanted it, too. So that's what happens when you uh, when you go to an auction and you want something in particular, you got to be ready to bid on it because other people are going to want it too. So that's exactly what happened here. And luckily, it kind of got to like my max I was willing to pay and it didn't go up any higher than that. So there you go. So I was able to bring it home. So um, I've already got an idea for a location for this. We've got something we're in the works right now. That is looking for possibly three game machines and two vending machines. So more to come on that. Let's go over everything that's in the garage right now. And then we'll kind of figure out, you know, we're, we're, we're going to have you guys comment on what you want to see done first. So let's start off over here. So coming over here, we picked up a bunch of capsule machines, as you can see over here. Here we go. We got these different capsule machines. So this one is an... NFL whistle machine. Um, usually NFL stuff always does really good. Um, what's funny about this one is this one doesn't have a key. And I don't know if you can hear that, but there are quarters inside. It doesn't sound like there's a whole lot, but there are definitely quarters inside that machine. So that's one thing we're definitely gonna do. We're gonna open up some of these machines on camera. Um, also in that bundle is this uh, sticker machine here. Right here. Now this one doesn't have keys as well. But I couldn't hear any any coins jingling around inside, so not sure if we'll open that one on camera. Um, I'll probably film it, and we'll see. You know, maybe if there's some cool stickers inside, that'll be something cool. Uh, but there's other machines back here too. So there's, whoa, here we go. So there, there's that capsule machine. It only has a 25 cent mech in it, um, and it does have the key on top. We opened it up. It had about 75 cents in it. Uh, but these machines over here, now the operator did clean out a lot of these machines when I when I picked them up. But this one right here, I don't know if you can hear that. He didn't have the keys for that one, so that one's definitely full of coins. The other ones, like the gumball, gumball back there, and that other gumball, it's a two head back there. He had keys for all those, so he was able to clean out all the quarters of all those. So we definitely got two machines that we need to open up and see what kind of quarters are inside. So that's going to be one, maybe video coming up soon i don't know we'll see um but long story short if you if you watch the channel if you're a subscriber you probably know that i don't do a lot of bulk vending um 
Our game store has some trading card machines, uh, which is pretty cool. But these kind of machines I don't do a whole lot of. Um, I don't know if I'm going to start looking for locations for these machines or if I'm going to unload them. They might end up at the next auction if I don't sell them beforehand. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right. But that is uh, all of the capsule machines that we purchased from the operator. A bunch of capsule machines. We also purchased this hot stuff claw machine from the operator. Um, so there's some things that's got, it's got some issues. So I've actually already fi fixed a couple things off camera. Um, when we first brought it home, it was dead as a doornail. It didn't do any, it didn't have any response. So we messed around with the power supply. We got all that, all those connections all good. Um, so some of the opportunities it has right now, as you can see, it doesn't have any lights on the sides. It's got the rope lights, but they're not working. And I've replaced rope lights before, but I wasn't happy with the results. And quite honestly, it was a pain in the butt. So what we're gonna do with this machine is we're actually going to replace those lights with an LED strip. Now I know it here in the box, it doesn't look great. And then you know, on the pictures on, on here, it doesn't look great. But wait till you see the results. I've done this on a machine before and I was very pleased with the results. So wait till you see the results on this one. Um, some of the other uh, opportunities on this machine, let me show you this next. So let me see if I can't get it all queued up here. So on this machine, so you can see the actual claw. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and give it a credit. So as you can see, it goes into place. Oh, it's actually working left to right right now. Previously, it wasn't going left and right. Right now, it is going left and right. So let's see. We, I, I've already had this, this trolley off and kind of did a lot of changes and rebuilding. Yeah, let's give it a couple more run-throughs. Let's see if it's still working just like that. If I fixed it off camera without even really doing anything, I'm gonna be pretty happy with myself. It did come with all these prizes as well. And we're gonna open it up and take a look inside. Hey, we got a working claw machine, guys. Um, I might end up replacing some of the gears. There you go, see, see, now it's not, now it's not going left and right. This is what I was experiencing earlier. It's not going left and right. And one of the gears inside is worn out. So that is the problem. I've got a gear on order. It should be here very soon. So we'll probably replace that gear so that way we won't have to worry about that. Let's try one more time. All right, so it goes, it goes right, it goes back, it comes forward, goes back. Now it's working left and right again, but it's not consistent. It's not where it would be location ready in my opinion. I'd be afraid putting this out on, on location um, that it wouldn't work right and we'd get a bunch of calls and complaints, which we don't want to do. So the only other thing I'm going to do on this machine after I replace the lights on the sides and replace that gear is we need to put a dollar bill acceptor in here. So we're going to move probably this coin neck right here and put a dollar bill acceptor in there. And then it should be location ready. Of course, it's going to need a good cleaning and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, so there's all that. That's kind of what we have in store for this machine. Um, what do I want to show you next? So uh, let, let's go with more stuff we bought from that operator. So this bag ran apart. Came from the operator as well. I know you can't really see in here, but it's got all kinds of coin mechs, all kinds of like little capsule vending machine parts, locks with keys for vending machines. Um, remember, I don't do a lot of bulk stuff. So um, some of that stuff might get resold. I don't know. Um, let's take a look inside this claw machine though. I want to show you some of these prizes that are in here because I know that everybody wants to see this kind of stuff. Let's bring the camera to this side. All right, so here's inside the machine. Now I know that Beanie Babies used to be a big thing. I'm sure they're really not now, but this machine is full of Beanie Babies. Look at all these tie tags and I think that these might have been one of the ones in McDonald's things. Let's see. No, no. There's a pink poodle beanie baby. I mean, there's just so many beanie babies in here. Fish. I know that's one, but that doesn't have the tag. Let's see what, else, what other kind of prizes are in here. Mighty Beans. Who remembers Mighty Beans? I haven't seen those in forever. There's a, another beanie baby. There's a duck with the, uh, with the beanie baby protector tag thing on it. What else is this? Jellyfish or octopus or something like that. There's just so many weird random things in here. 
How about a random pair of sunglasses? I mean, don't those look like they've been in, a, in an arcade prize machine since the 80s? Look at, look at the yellowing on the plastic. It's been forever <laughs> that these have probably been in this machine. Um, X-Men football. What are the kind of weirdness is in here? Check this out. Um, a jack construction worker that's able to be like posable, bendable. Definitely different. Here's some more, some more Mighty Beans up here. Um, <laughs> a bear wearing an ugly sweater. We see these all in, in South Carolina pretty often. These are armadillos. We usually see them as roadkill in South Carolina, but, but it's got an armadillo in there. A cat. Look at that. That is an unopened McDonald's Happy Meal Beanie Baby toy. Are these even collectible, guys? You know, comment down below if if, uh, if anything you see that I'm showing you in here is actually worth anything or is actually collectible. Um, here's a beanie, a camo beanie baby bear with a flag on the side. Is that the uh, the UK flag or the British flag? I don't know. Um, what else we got in here? We got a tie-dyed lion. It's uh, that got the tie tag with the, two, the year 2000 on it. That's pretty cool. Um, here's a, a peace bear. This one, do they have a name on them? I don't know. This one, for some reason, it feels like I've seen before. I don't know. Again, guys, comment down below if you know anything about Beanie Babies. Here's like a bison or a buffalo or something like that. Um, a squirrel. <laughs> the red cow. I mean, I know I've seen a bunch of these in the past, and I know that they're probably really not worth anything today. Uh, that's kind of cool. Still in the package, it's a... Uh, uh, it's all yellowed as well, just so you know it's old. It's from It says from 2000. McDonald's collectibles, I don't know. Like I said, I know none of this is probably really worth any, any real money, but if you guys see anything that I'm showing you here in this video, comment down below and tell me if you know, any of this stuff is a cool find. I mean, it all looks like it's been <laughs> pre-owned, I guess. And it wouldn't surprise me if, uh, if the, the operator that I got this from Oh, um, boy, that's kind of creepy, right? Creepy doll? Yeah, that's creepy. All right, um, enough of that, though. I think we've seen just about everything we need to see when it comes to Beanie Babies. Again, guys, comment down below if you think any of this stuff is worth anything. I don't think it is, um, but I always like to learn more about crazy finds, I guess you could say, in machines. What is this? Bears around the world. <laughs> Too funny. Let's see, it says China on it. So I don't know if that was made in China. Uh, anyway, so those are some of the different prizes in that machine. Let's go ahead and move on to the next machine. We have, what do we have? We have, uh, we have one more thing to show you that we bought out from the operator, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so it's in these boxes over here. So you know I don't do much bulk vending, but if I did, or if I decide to stay in it for a little bit, Check out some of these things. So this box here is all, it's called SpongeBob Tongue Tuggers, it says on the tag. And they're all these different, uh, they're like a, a ball, but they've got different stretchy tongue SpongeBob, char SpongeBob characters on them. So that was Patrick, obviously. Let's see who else we got. We got, there's SpongeBob himself. Look at that, with his stretchy tongue. Um, you know, I don't know what's popular in the bulk vending field. Um, it seems like there are a lot of just Spongebob and Patrick characters. Um, so I guess, I don't know, that, that's one thing that's, that's in the boxes. Next, we'll take that one off. We'll move down, down to this next box. Next, under Spongebob, we have, uh, I think, two boxes of these. These are, these are what I think are the coolest. So these are NFL helmets. So that's gonna be a collectible, right? Cause that's no longer a, a team name. Um, anybody in Louisiana, like the Saints, there you go. What else we got? I, I know I got some fans of some, how about Minnesota? Quick plays in Minnesota, aren't they? <laughs> what else we got? I guess it's not, this is now Vegas, right? The Vegas Raiders, pretty cool. Uh, what, 
I want to show you at least one more. All right, since I'm in Carolina, I'm not a Carolina fan, but here's a Carolina Panthers helmet. So I think these are going to do pretty cool. If, if, uh, we might end up redoing one of those machines over there and putting these in it um, and seeing how they do. Because I know when I was growing up, and as my boys were growing up, that was one thing I liked to do was find these bulk machines and buy these NFL helmets. They called them bubble heads, which I thought was pretty funny. But it is what it is. This one. So this one's a little bit different. This one is patron saint charm necklaces. And they're like a like a, a fake gold um, necklace. They come in like a little plastic thing, but I thought that was pretty cool. So that was another thing we took away. These boxes are dusty. So if I sneeze, guys, I apologize. I don't have the Rona. Don't worry about that. No Rona here. All right, a whole nother box of NFL helmets. Let's see, for Kansas City, Super Bowl champs. Again, not my favorite team, but it is what it is. I'm not even going to tell you guys who my favorite team is. Comment down below and guess my favorite team. Um, those of you who really know who I am, you'll know which team it is. Comment down below if you think you know who my NFL team is. All right, what's this one? This one is, oh, this is more SpongeBob stuff, but they're not the tongue tuggers. Let's check this out. These are little SpongeBob characters. So this one's like a cool SpongeBob. Uh, what else we got? We got SpongeBob in like a little, in a sweatsuit or something like that. Um, what else we got here? We got... Patrick that lays on his stomach. I know it's tough to see on camera. But that's some of the cool stuff. All right. Moving on. That's all the bulk stuff we have. So as you know, we uh, we did this uh, snack machine in a previous video. I'm um, still looking for a location where I got to fix that light. The light, the adhesive fell down, so I got to fix that. Um, so still got to get a location for that. I'm, I've, I haven't really been pushing it too hard because I've got that, that location lined up for the fall. For September, I think it's going to be that once a snack machine, a soda machine, a three game machine. So I haven't really been pushing finding locations right now uh, because of that. All right, next up is this claw machine here. This one is uh, Betson Big Choice. It's had the marquee removed and had some LED replacements up there. Uh, this one works great. Um, it was originally gonna go in my home game room, but I'm to the point now where I don't know if I wanna put it in my home game room. So let's just give you a quick glance. So I've got, I've got it coined up. You can just, it's one of the old two button ones here. Uh, I didn't win. Let's try one more time. I mean, let me go down a little bit too so you can see those. I've got it, I've got it rigged on a coin switch here. So this button acts as like inserting a quarter. There we go. So now this light's lit and then this little lit. If you remember these back in the day, it's the old two button ones. And it's like a one time thing. You, you don't get to position it around a bunch of times. All right, one more try. And if we don't win, then we don't win. All right, well, I didn't win. That's all good. All right, what else do we have to show you? So um, remember we lost our location, our worst location. Um, that machine is actually, let me maneuver around here. I didn't didn't pre-plan this out here real well. That machine is actually back there. Like I said, I redid the coin Mac. I have to redo the LED light in it, but it is location ready. And it either is going to go to our break and alignment shop and we're gonna pull that machine back and refurbish that. But the problem is we're kind of out of space right now. So that machine there might go straight to that new location that we're working on. We'll see what happens. All right, next I want to show you this Nintendo machine. So as you can see, there's a there's another N Nintendo machine behind it too. And there's even one back behind this claw machine here. But this is probably the next one we're going to work on. This is originally a Donkey Kong Jr. machine. And as you can see, I started doing a little bit of Bondo work on it, some body work. Um, and then, of course, I just got overwhelmed with all the other things I got going on. So uh, that one just kind of sits as is. I think I'm going to do a custom machine. Um, I got a buddy that's looking for a certain kind of machine, and we haven't been able to find one for him. So I might do a custom machine. It's not a Nintendo game, so you know, don't, don't beat me up with the comments, guys. I like to keep things original, too. But when I have just a complete empty cabinet, you know, sometimes it's just not cost effective to go and source all those parts and remake it as it used to be. I've, I've restored countless Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. So if I don't do this one as Donkey Kong Jr., 
Don't get too upset, guys. It's going to be great no matter what. At least it won't be an empty cabinet sitting in a storage facility anymore. So it is what it is. All right. Next thing we're going to talk about is this guy or girl, I guess you could say. This is a Miss Pac-Man cocktail I picked up last weekend also. So it's currently not working, um, but it's got some, some, it's showing some signs of life. So it needs a monitor rebuild for sure. The monitor is completely dead. Um, when we first power the game on, it goes into some crazy coin counter kicking, 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 kicking. Then after about a couple minutes, it, that stops. And then it functions like as normal without the monitor, of course. So you can hear, if you start up a game, you can hear the gameplay. But this is going to need a lot of work. It needs a lot of cosmetics. So it needs clean, of course. It needs the monitor rebuilt. And then look at this. So both control panel overlays are pretty gross. So you can see that one is just all torn up. I have some replacement overlays for both sides of the control panel somewhere on my shelf kind of buried back there in the back of all my stuff um so yeah so lots of stuff to do let's talk about what you guys want to see so put it down in the comments of all these different machines which videos would you rather see so obviously we're probably going to do all these videos you know as, as we do them but comment down below with what you want to see the most do you want to see the Miss Pac-Man cocktail cabinet get redone first? Do you want to see the project I'm going to be working on on this old Nintendo cabinet first? Do you want to see me redo everything on the claw machine first? Do you want to see me drill and open up bulk machines first? So comment down below with what you want to see out of all these different projects I got going on. Um, as you can see, I got my work cut out for me. It's been, it's been summertime, it's been hot, I've been working out in the yard all summer, so kind of I've kind of gone against what I usually like to do and I let I let the project stack up here in the shop and I hate doing that but it is what it is we've been focusing on the routes we've been focusing on auctions we've been focusing on my yard um so it is what it is so comment down below and tell me what you want to see in the next videos and we'll start releasing them in order of people that want to see whatever they want to see I know I personally want to get to work on this uh, claw machine um and um, I'm gonna throw a challenge out there so Tim Tim O'Loughlin out there he recently lost his uh, claw machine location and he put it, you know, he made a video of him putting it in a storage unit. So Tim, I know your claw machine needs some work. My claw machine here needs some work. Let's team up, let's collab, let's, let's put some, some videos out of us redoing these claw machines and getting them back out on location because that's where they deserve to be. We need them out there making money because they're not making us any money sitting here in our shop or in your storage unit. So Tim, buddy, let's get to work on these machines. Let's see what we can do. But for the rest of you guys, comment down below. Tell me what you want to see, um, which machine you want to you want to focus on next, or what what video you want to see us do first. Um, again, we're probably going to focus on staying away from that stacker back there. Uh, we're kind of probably going to reserve that for our fall location and the snack machine and the soda machine. So, of the machines that we're going to work on, we're going to work on that uh, custom arcade cabinet right back there. We're going to work on this Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man cocktail, the claw machine up there and those bulk machines over there. So comment down below, guys, and tell me what you want to see. All right. Um, also, while you're here, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. As you can see, we've got all kinds of great videos coming your way. We've got all kinds of stuff to talk about, all kinds of stuff to show you. So if you could do me a big favor, click that subscribe button, click the bell notification. We've got all kinds of great videos coming your way. We have another arcade a vending coin op pinball. Um, very cool stuff auction coming up at the end of August. So make sure you're subscribed and you're notified when our new videos go live. We're going to do a preview video on, on that Saturday morning. And then we'll do a full-blown auction video the following day, that Sunday, which I think is the um, August 28th. No, August 29th and August 30th. Those are the days. August 29th, Saturday morning, we'll do a preview video. And then it'll release live right from the auction. And then Sunday afternoon, probably sometime, maybe late afternoon, depending on my internet speed that day we will have a full-blown coverage video of the auction of all the results, prices, what everything sold for, all that good stuff. So make sure you click that subscribe button, click the bell notification so you're notified when those videos go live. And plus, so you've got all kinds of videos coming your way from all this stuff here. I think we've been pretty consistent with our upload, guys. We're doing one to two videos during the week and one on the weekends as well. So that's at least two to three videos every week that we're releasing. So while all these other channels out there aren't really putting forth the effort and the content 
you can count on us to put up forth that effort for the content. We've got lots of great stuff. So guys, again, subscribe to our channel for us, please. Thanks so much. Give us a thumbs up, like our videos. Um, and then we're going to wrap it up here, guys. So I can't wait to see in your comments what you want to see next. So we appreciate everyone's support. Again, guys, this is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.